Hi, I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and I'd like to invite you to come thrifting with me. This video is actually out of order from my last video because I was so excited about that lamp and all of those needlework kits. We are at our local Valley U Village. Look at that little shell box, and I think that critter next to it is a cat, maybe? Honestly, it could be an owl. I have no idea. This is the oddest knockoff trying to look like a Barbie doll, but definitely not a Barbie doll. I know that there are treasures in these bags, but I rarely have the patience to sort through them all and look to see what's inside. A few months ago, my son found, I think there were six bags all full of the little rose tea figurines that he likes to collect. I don't know what this is. I think from that edge that it is some kind of pelt, maybe? It was icky. I hope whoever wants it finds it and that $6.99 is a great price for them. Bird chip clips, those were kind of cute. And craft kits, I don't know why that's not over with the rest of the crafts or with the toys. The logic of how they arrange things sometimes totally escapes me. I love cookie jars shaped like buildings. I don't need cookie jar shapes, jars shaped like buildings, and so far I've managed to resist the temptation. Anyone know what this is? I'm puzzled by it. I know it's not a bed warmer, but that's what that hinge lid makes me think of. Should have brought my tape measure so that I could check some of these little metal pans to see if they'd work in my pressure cooker. Looks like Pyrex. Isn't Pyrex. Happy yellow alarm clock. Look at the stitching on this one. She is so cute with her little band-aid on her knee. And I don't know if the camera picked it up, but she's cruel. And the texture of the stitches on her legs was just kind of strange and bumpy. $2.99 is not a bad price for someone else who wants to save the stitches. She didn't need to come live with me. Uh, Thomas Kincaid print. That was really pretty. I always love looking at the artwork. Fresh Bay Crabs. More stitches I did not save. That was a pretty carousel horse, and honestly, the frame's not bad. Don't know what those were. I didn't get a picture of the tips because we were looking at the little things on the handles. I think they were little tiny forks or spoons. I can't remember. I need to record my audio closer to the actual trip to the thrift shop so I don't forget these things. Personal care items and things I would not buy from a thrift shop. They had a lot of yarn this trip. I have lots of yarn at home, so I wasn't particularly tempted by it. The last time we're here, I think it was senior discount day, and there was one old woman in a wheelchair who literally bought all of the yarn. I hope she was happy with it. I can't imagine you'd buy that much yarn if you weren't happy. Home is wherever we roam. That's kind of cute. I'm not enough of a camping fan. Love the blueprint chair. I don't need more furniture. I was intrigued by the clock. I don't know if this is supposed to be a specific building. It was just kind of cute and neat and looked old. And if someone knows if that is a building I should recognize, let me know.
That is a telephone shaped like a bag of golf clubs. One of those things I have never in my life seen, but then you find it at the thrift store. These pink tele touchtone telephones here had instructions for the clergy. I'm curious where they came from. This was my favorite piece of big, impossibly huge furniture for the day. I don't have the wall space. I don't have a big enough house. I don't have a house from the right era, but I love it. Someday my boys are going to have apartments and we're going to have fun shopping. Love this needlepoint chair. Doesn't fit my house. That is the couch of my dreams, maybe with a solid fabric and a little less floral print. I'm shopping for couches these days, and I will find one. And I will find one that my husband agrees on, which is the bigger task. The craft selection at this store is really hit or miss. This is the one where I made both my great big cross stitch haul of last year and my big, great big cruel haul of last year. They haven't had anything good for months though. Unpainted bisque camel. Uh, anybody want to make yo-yo snowman from a Mary Maxim kit? And that bisque camel had a family. Looks like they came from several nativity sets. This is baby Fretzy, and baby Fretzy had a note hidden in his neck. I've got another video where I explain that one. Baby Fretzy came home with us because my sons needed him. Uh, oil pastels, chalk pastels. This was our trip of the day, and I think I'm running out of footage here, so I'll go ahead and say goodbye. Thanks so much for joining us. Again, I'm Michelle from Michelle's Romantic Tangle, and I always enjoy taking you thrifting with me. I'll see you again soon.